Hello everyone, welcome to Drake Mix. Back here working on the Moving Meditations 3D Render Challenge. Anything to do with animation retargeting in Unreal Engine is an absolute nightmare. All in all, I don't know what I'm doing. So instead, I thought I'd get the whole character animation together in a separate program and re-import the baked animation FBX back into Unreal. Oh lord, give me strength. I was able to open the animations with ease in Blender, like I thought I could have in Unreal Engine. I then took the mannequin stand-in pose from the Unreal Engine project and exported it as an FBX, with the intent to use this as a base for sculpting. But first I wanted to make sure this would work, so I parented the default character to the first animation as a test. And... I really hate retargeting. Anyways, I hopped on the competition discord and thank god there was a tutorial that was nice and quick, so I followed that. And then found a dummy on Mixamo to follow the tutorial with. I'm following this concept if you haven't seen my last video. So me happy-go-lucky and naive, I used the boolean tool to attach some ecospheres for tracking balls and a VR headset I found on Turbo Squid to the main character. <laughs> Here I import the animation skeleton and adjust the size of the model down to fit the skeleton. And I thought this was going to work. I got all of this finished, went to retargeting as I had done, and nothing happened. So I had to try and fix this. So instead of attaching the models to the character, I thought I'd parent objects to the armature bones after the animation had been retargeted. This is me doing that in real time. This was a whole lot easier, and I really thought I was onto something here. Here I take the Mixmo model and stretch the arms out a bit so it better fits the skeleton and then retargeted it. In order to parent the armature to the mesh, I select them both and parent them using automatic weights. Then I attach the detail parts like I was customizing a character in a video game. At this point, I was pretty excited with how this was all looking. There were a bunch of floating objects in this model's head that wouldn't target with the animation, so I just used a box to cut the whole head off and replace it with another one. So there you have it. I had gotten the character done at least in Blender, and I really thought it was over. But now to get it into Unreal Engine, which of course means exporting. Shh. 
So finally I gave up and returned to the situation the following day, with a different plan. Okay, so this time I exported the basic model that had actually worked without any of the detail parts. Then I opened the character skeleton and added a socket to a desired bone. In this case I'm adding a VR helmet, so the socket is attached to the head bone. Uh, that's also known as the skull. To attach an item to the socket you just created, you first have to convert it into a blueprint. Once this is done, compile and save the blueprint. Drag this blueprint into your scene and position it on your model. And then attach it to the model by drag and drop in your scene library. When you do so, you'll be able to select the desired socket you want the item attached to. And finally, we have something that works. Here's some of my live reaction to getting this all to function. I'm not gonna have to fail at this. That makes me really happy. Yes! I was getting worried there. I was like, am I gonna have to forfeit the whole challenge here? That would have been embarrassing. So then I just attached all the extra bits in a similar fashion in the main project file. Here's how all of that looked when it came together. Rad. And now for textures. I ran into a couple more issues getting the textures to work, but nothing too substantial worth talking about in the video. So after I've exported the texture from Substance Painter and imported it into Unreal Engine, it looks something like this. I'd say the texture work is far from done, but as a placeholder right now to keep the work going forward, I think it shows what I'm going for adequately. And now I proudly present our progress so far on the main character for the render. have it. So going forward, the to-do list for the challenge is to add some physics-based cables to the back of the character's head, make the materials look nicer, and of course build an epic 3D world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the progress. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you next time.